The vertices of quadrilateral MATH have coordinates m negative 4 comma 2. I'm going to plot this out as I read it. So negative 4 comma 2, this is m. Uh, negative 1 comma negative 3 is a. So this is a. T is 9 comma 3, so 9 comma 3 is T. And H is 6 comma 8, so 6 comma 8, so it's 2, 4, 6, and 8. Okay. And what do we have to do here? Prove that quadrilateral MATH is a parallelogram. This is the first thing we have to do. And then the second thing is prove that quadrilateral MATH is a rectangle. Okay. So I am going to try to use the most efficient way uh, of doing this as possible. Let me see here. I'm going to connect. Uh, and then this is going to go to for connect. Connect and connect. Okay. So I am going to find out what is the slope of all four sides. Why is that um, the most efficient way? The reason is once I know the slope of all four sides, I can then say that opposite sides have the same slope, therefore they are, uh, opposite sides are parallel, so therefore MATH is a parallelogram. And then the second statement I can make then is if um, adjacent sides have negative reciprocal slopes, then adjacent sides are going to be perpendicular, which then makes this a rectangle because perpendicular sides forms right angle. And a parallelogram with right angles uh, is a rectangle. So let's find the slope of uh, all four sides. So the slope of MA, and all you got to do is just count because you have it already drawn, right? So I'm going to do just that. So from M to A, we're going to go down. I'm going to use another color here. We're going to go down 5 and over 3. Right? So that's going to be negative 5 thirds. Let's see what is the slope of uh, AT. We're going to go up 3 and over 5, right? Because we're going to go again, because it's rise over 1, run up 3 and over 5, and then up 3 and over 5 again to get to the last, to get to T. So it's going to be 3 fifths. I can already see now that adjacent sides are um, have negative reciprocal slopes. Let's find the slope of uh, HT. So again, we're going to go down 5 and over 3, so it's negative 5 thirds and the slope of uh, MH is going to be positive 3 fifths. So the statement I can write then is uh, MATH is a parallelogram because opposite sides have the same slope lines with the same slope are parallel. Therefore, opposite sides are parallel. So this is the reason for why it's a parallelogram. Let's write out the reason for why it's a rectangle now. A, B, C, D is a rectangle because adjacent sides have 
negative reciprocal slopes. And I'm going to demonstrate this. Uh, M of uh, MA is equal to negative 1 over the slope of AT. And the slope of AT is equal to, actually, I don't even need to do this so many times because if I have at least one, uh, if there's only, if, if, I, if I show that there's just one um, adjacent sides, one pair of adjacent sides having negative reciprocal slopes, then that means there's one right angle. And a parallelogram with one right angle is a rectangle. So here, uh, let me see here have negative reciprocal slopes, therefore MA and AT are perpendicular. Angle uh, MAT so angle MAT must be a right angle a parallelogram with a right angle is a rectangle. So of course this um, this approach that I took here is not the only approach. You can certainly prove this in a myriad of different ways. You can prove uh, rectangles or you can prove a uh, quadrilateral to be a rectangle by, you know, working with the diagonals. If the diagonals are congruent, so I'm just going to write it out here, right? Diagonals uh, congruent and bisect each other. If you can show this, then you can uh, declare that MATH is a rectangle. And by doing that, you are sort of doing two things at once, actually, because if you show something as a rectangle, you are implicitly also suggesting, not suggesting, you are also telling um, the person that the shape is also a parallelogram because a rectangle is, in fact, a parallelogram as well.